Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us on the property show all that's happening in real estate across the country best buys and top expert voices we bring you all of that let's tell you the menu on today's show over the next 60 minutes what do we have lined up for you best apartment and home options in the city of mumbai and bangalore if high-end living in ncr in chennai is what you're looking for we have smart investments in these cities as well we're going to also do a reality check of kundli manisar palwal expressway near delhi why is it stalled? What's the progress? And should you bet your property investments on it? A special report from Crown Zero. And the cabinet is preparing to raise the limit on home loan subsidy. We'll address the nitty gritties of availing the rebate in our experts segment today. But let's dive into what we do best. Let's take your calls and make sure that you do the right thing with your money when it comes to property. Rohan Sharma is joining us on the phone line. Hi, Rohan. Go ahead. How can we help you? Hi, uh, Manisha and Samir. Uh, uh, I want to buy a 1 BHK home uh, in Andheri East. And my budget is 60 lakh rupees. Uh, uh, I can stretch my budget up to 80 lakhs. Uh, please give me uh, some good options. All right. And uh, do you want to live here or is it an investment? Yeah, in the in the long term, yes, uh, I would like to uh, use it for myself. All right. So, Andheri East, it's a hot market, done extremely well. One BHK is all that he would be able to afford anyway in his budget. If he stretches to 80 lakhs, do you think two BHK is possible or not, Sameer? Unfortunately, if Rohan... Uh, stretches to 80 lakhs, he'll be able to afford a 1 BHK. Then he'll be able to afford a 1 BHK. <laughs> That's, That's Mumbai, Mumbai for, for you. you. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, Andheri East, as you all know, is now emerged as a major commercial hub. It's very close to BKC. There is the Seeps is over there, which is Santa Cruz Electronic uh, Export Processing Zone. The under construction of the GAV Metro route is also doing very well for this area to better the uh, connectivity and its proximity to the international airport and leading five-star hotels and near the international airport helps this area very well as well. So because of all these commercial activities happening over here and a lot of employment generation happening, the demand for residential markets in Andheri East have also gone up and typically it never used to be a residential area but now it's emerging to be a good one in fact. So just sharing some key data points with you before we come to uh, the options. 14 odd projects, total supply very limited, 2472 units only. Uh, 14 uh, months is the inventory over rank. Also, I'd like to point out one BHK options are very, very limited over here. The weighted average price of this market is 11,800 rupees a square feet, and the average one BHK is about 650 square feet. So, if you do the math yourself, you realize you'll need about 80 odd lakhs. Uh, last two years, appreciation has been about 48 odd percent, which translates to about 21 percent on a compounded analyzed basis. The recommendations from our side, Palazio by Aventa Builders, uh, this is in Andheri East, 11,500 rupees a square feet is the price, uh, 1 BHK, smallest size is 796 square feet, this is getting ready in 2013, it's available from the developer, Blue Fortuna by Atul uh, Builders, Andheri East, 11,500 rupees a square feet, 1 BHK, 691 square feet, 11,500 rupees is the price, 2014 is the completion year and availability from the developer. Uh, just one word of advice, I think you can wait and watch uh, the situation, the real estate markets in Mumbai is not very good, so you, maybe you can negotiate on these developments directly with the developer or, or maybe even hold on because the absorption levels in Mumbai have fallen drastically and we hear that things are not looking that good over there. In fact, uh, we are actually, uh, one of our reporters is working on a story which we should be bringing to you soon on just the fact that uh, lots of developers who were not launching 1 BHK projects were only launching 2 BHK minimum sizes are now beginning to look at the 1 BHK market because there is no offtake in any other market and they're hoping that 1 BHKs will sell a little faster. Alright, so that's a good tip from Samir. Please negotiate hard. Mumbai market is looking extremely weak uh, right now. So these are the projects you can look at. 
60 to 80 lakhs. That's a small budget if you want to live in Andheri East, which is pretty much now considered as a very key area of Mumbai. Palazzo by Aventa Builders is the first one. The other one you can look at is Blue Fortuna by Atul Builders. And if you can wait out a little bit, we'll also be bringing you a special report on Wednesday where we will look at new launches in the 1BHK category. Where all are those projects coming up? Okay, I'm going to take this email which has come from United States. Shivom Palhan says, I'm planning to move from Washington DC to Gurgaon sometime in late 2012 and I'm interested in buying an apartment in Gurgaon with a budget of 1.5 to 1.7 crore. I'm more interested in finding a good place to live rather than seeking appreciation in investment. Another consideration is that my wife's workplace in Gurgaon would be in DLF Phase 3 and my office in Sector 33. So something located not too far would be a better option. Okay, budget given, location preferences given and after a long time it's a pleasure to get a question where the person saying it's not appreciation though appreciation will anyway happen in a market like Gurgaon. <laughs> I won't be too sure anymore but uh, of course inflation led appreciation always going to happen. Uh, I wish I could recommend places right next to DLF Phase 3 for you but uh, you want a 3 BHK and 1.7 crores and options over there now have started to touch 2.5 crores plus. So you'll have to move a bit away about, we've got one option for you which is about 7 kilometers and the other two options are about 13-14 kilometers but the connectivity is excellent through the NH8 so you will be there in the locations that you want to be in, in in 10 to 15 minutes. Coming back to the options uh, for you. We've uh, selected sectors between Sona Road and Golf Course Road and two projects on Sona Road itself. The total projects are 17, supply is about 4,426 units. Availability is 9, very limited availability because we are looking at almost ready projects over here. Uh, the weighted average price in the market is 6,686 rupees a square feet and there is no inventory overhang because we are talking about ready projects over here. Uh, price appreciation for ready projects 65% over the last two years translating to a compounded analyzed return of about 28.5%. Uh, recommendations Whipple floors, Whipple sector 52, 7000 to 7200 rupees a square feet, an average 3 BHK 1696 square feet over here. This project is ready, you can pick it up from the resale market. This is pretty much equidistance from sector 33 and DLF phase 3. The other two projects are Parkview City 2 by Best Tech Group on Sona Road 7900 rupees a square feet. Again, project is ready, you'll have to pick it up from the resale market. And lastly, Vatika City on Sona Road, 7800 rupees a square feet, 280-200 rupees square feet by Vatika Group. Here, the project is also ready, average 3 BHK is 2080 square feet, so slightly bigger size, again available from the resale market. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NETV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.